From shocking comments about the LGBTQ plus community to saying he wouldn't be bothered if a bus hit his son, 50 Cent has another side to him that might surprise even his most die-hard fans. 50 Cent doesn't seem to be an ally when it comes to the LGBTQ plus community. In an interview with Playboy magazine in 2004, he made it clear where he stood. He said, I don't like gay people around me because I'm not comfortable with what their thoughts are. 50 tried to clarify his comments to Playboy, saying, I'm not prejudiced. I just don't go with gay people and kick it. We don't have that much in common. His statement seemed pretty prejudiced to many members of the community. However, the rapper added that he didn't mind same-sex attraction among women, stating, But women who like women, that's cool. It's okay to write that I'm prejudiced. This is as honest as I could possibly be with you. His statements later proved to be contradictory, given the rapper's own familial connection to the LGBTQ community. He told Perez Hilton in 2012, My mom was a lesbian. Yeah, she liked women. My whole childhood was like that. The artist also seemingly changed his tune when Barack Obama was elected president, telling MTV, Obama is for same-sex marriage. If the president is saying that, then who am I to go the other way? Ja Rule and 50 Cent have had major beef over the past two decades. Their feud began in 1999 after Ja Rule's chain was stolen at gunpoint by one of 50 Cent's associates while he was filming a music video. 50 then released his diss track, Your Life's on the Line, shortly after, which was aimed at Ja Rule. In 2000, the two got into an altercation at an Atlanta club where they were both scheduled to perform. Things escalated further that year when they crossed paths at the Hit Factory Studios in New York. The rappers got into a physical fight, and a member of the Murder, Inc. crew stabbed 50 Cent, resulting in Ja Rule and Black Child being arrested. Their beef continued for years, with the rappers taking jabs at each other in several of their respective songs. They seemed to put their issues to bed in 2013, after Ja Rule posted on X, What are the chances? Me and 50. Same flight, same row, no problems. But that didn't last long. As 50 Cent poked fun at Ja Rule's low tour ticket prices on Instagram in 2018, admitting that he bought 200 seats just for fun. As of 2024, their beef seems less mean-spirited. In a 2023 interview with The Shade Room, Ja Rule revealed that if 50 Cent were to walk into the room, nothing would happen, adding, "Yeah, don't have a problem." In 2016, 50 Cent caused a stir when he uploaded a clip to Instagram mocking an autistic man. In the now-deleted video, the rapper filmed himself walking through the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. He then flipped the camera around to an employee pushing a cart and asked him for his name. When the man didn't reply and shook his head, 50 said, Look at him. What kind of sh you think he took before he got to work today? He high as a mother right here in the airport. Pupil dilated everything looking like. An Instagram user identified the airport employee as a former classmate, commenting that he has extreme social difficulties, while also blasting Fiddy for making fun of him. After immense backlash online and viewers threatening to boycott 50 Cent's FN vodka brand, the rapper issued an apology letter to the man. He wrote, while the incident at the airport resulted from an unfortunate misunderstanding, please accept my sincere apologies for offending you. It's not above 50 Cent to have issues with a world championship boxer, apparently. The rapper and Floyd Mayweather were once good friends and even business partners before their friendship became a long-standing feud. Their relationship turned sour after Mayweather was sent to prison over domestic battery charges in 2012. At the time, Fiddy was reportedly in charge of getting the boxer's promotion company, Golden Boy Promotions, off the ground. Fiddy had signed a few boxers to the team, but once Mayweather was released, he said he was never cut a check for the $2 million he claimed he was owed. 50 Cent proceeded to attack Mayweather's finances following the fallout. Claiming the athlete was burning through cash, Mayweather felt blindsided, saying, I've been nothing but good to him. I'm a hundred man. I've been nothing but solid with him. The rapper has even attacked the boxing champion's literacy skills, posting a video to social media in 2014 and challenging Mayweather to read a page of a Harry Potter book. Mayweather responded by posting checks from his company to X, saying that's what he reads. The two have since settled their feud, with 50 Cent telling The Breakfast Club in 2022. I went to see him when I was <clears throat> in Vegas. No, really? man. From around my birthday. 50 Cent landed himself in hot water in 2016 for posing with what might as well be Monopoly money. The rapper who famously flaunts his wealth 
had to admit in court that the cash he was posing with on his social media accounts had no value at all. Except if you want to pass go and collect $200, of course. The controversy began in 2015 when the entrepreneur filed for bankruptcy, yet continued to post photos of himself lying in heaps of cash. The financial move came after 50 Cent was ordered to pay $5 million in damages to a woman who sued him for posting an explicit video of her online. According to reports, the judge assigned to his bankruptcy court case took notice of his social media activity and asked the rapper to explain the cash-ridden posts he had been uploading since his bankruptcy filing. Fiddy claimed in court documents that the money depicted in the photos was prop money and not real stacks after all. He said, just because I am photographed in or next to a certain vehicle, wearing an article of clothing, holding a product, sitting next to what appears to be large sums of money, or modeling expensive pieces of jewelry does not mean that I own everything in those photos." Fiddy later paid off over $22 million in debt and was discharged from bankruptcy in 2017. 50 Cent and Kanye West's bad blood first began over who could achieve the most commercial success. The two rappers rose in the ranks of the music industry around the same time, selling chart-topping albums, and were often at odds with each other over who was the better artist. They had issues in 2007 when Fiddy was set to release his album Curtis on September 11th of that year. And West specifically moved up the release date of his album, Graduation, by a week to directly compete with his rival over album sales. The showdown even made its way to the cover of Rolling Stone, with the two literally facing off against each other. West ultimately beat 50 Cent, pushing nearly 300,000 more units than Curtis. While the beef seemed to be a harmless marketing scheme, it set the tone for the future of their relationship. The two rappers seemed to be cordial with each other over the next decade, with 50 Cent even endorsing West's potential presidential candidacy. Speaking on Conan, Fiddy said, I like the idea of him running. But the truce was short-lived, as Fiddy took shots at West in 2019. On Instagram, he posted a now-deleted photo of clothing from West's Yeezy fashion brand and wrote, Welp, now I know I'm not a style icon. I'm definitely not wearing that <laughs> LOL, get the out of here, man. 50 Cent engaged in a public feud with Vanderpump Rules star Lala Kent and her former fiancé Randall Emmett that lit up the internet. The incident began in 2019 when the rapper blasted Emmett on social media for not paying him back the remaining balance of a $1 million loan. At the time, Emmett had been working with the artist to produce several of his television and movie projects. Fiddy sent threatening messages to Emmett. He then went on to attack Kent, posting clips from Vanderpump Rules in which the reality star described meeting Emmett. The first night we banged, I got a car the next day. Kent clapped back in an Instagram comment, writing, We've sat up at dinner solo with you, you showing mad love, while begging Rand to put one of your new talentless in a film. And this is how you come for me? On the gram? The feud took a toll on Emmett, who famously mistyped the rapper's name in texts that read, I'm sorry, Faulty. I'm heading to the emergency room. Please don't text me anymore. Days later, the rapper announced Emmett had paid his debt in full. He and Kent ultimately made up when the Bravo star visited him on the set of his film Skill House in 2022, following her split from Emmett. 50 Cent claimed that he was never on the list of potential guests for The Oprah Winfrey Show. In a 2020 interview with The Guardian, the rapper recalled how he was hoping to appear on the talk show while he rose in the ranks of the music industry, but he asserted that Oprah Winfrey was not on board. Despite Fiddy's grandmother being one of her biggest fans, nothing could sway the host on the rapper. He told The Guardian, she was completely against everything that was in my music, so she ain't never going to have me on that show. I'm never going to reach that platform, which is confirmation of you being a huge success. So I just said, okay, if we can't be friends, then at least let's be enemies. In typical 50 Cent fashion, he proceeded to blast Winfrey's fans and name his female dog after her. Eventually, the two got on better terms. In an interview with People, he explained it was Gail King who helped bridge their gap. He said, She adjusted to my character and told Oprah that she needed to meet me because it's not what you think it is. 50 Cent and Diddy's feud began in the late 2000s, when the rapper accused the Sean John founder of knowing who shot the late Biggie Smalls. Sean Combs has never been a suspect in the murder and has consistently denied knowing information about the perpetrator. The feud continued when the two rappers went on to represent rival vodka brands, but their feud seemed to be less serious when Diddy said on The Breakfast Club in 2018, Y'all can't see, see that he loves me? But see, you really, hold on, you really think that's hate? 50 Cent sparked beef with Combs yet again 
however, after several individuals accused him of sexual abuse. He posted a now-deleted photo to X in March of 2024 that featured his ex-girlfriend Daphne Joy and Diddy together following a lawsuit that claimed Joy worked for Diddy as a sex worker. He wrote, You moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back, and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now here we are, little sex worker. 50 Cent has some contradicting political beliefs. The rapper supported Donald Trump in 2020, posting a photo on Instagram featuring a broadcast from CNBC's Power Lunch that showed the potential tax rates if Joe Biden implemented his proposed tax plan. The rapper's unlikely support of the Republican candidate came as a shock to many fans, including his ex-girlfriend Chelsea Handler. The comedian spoke on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon about his endorsement, saying, He says he doesn't want to pay 62% in taxes, which, by the way, isn't a plan of Joe Biden's. That's a lie. I had to remind him that he was a black person, so he can't vote for Donald Trump. Ultimately, 50 Cent backtracked his support for the former president. The same can't be said for Trump, however, as Fiddy revealed on The Late Late Show with James Corden that Trump offered him $500,000 to appear at his 2016 inauguration. He said, Don't bring me to fix the African American. <laughs> In November 2018, 50 Cent commented on an Instagram photo featuring his son Marquise Jackson posing with Supreme McGriff Jr. Commenting on the photo of his estranged son alongside Supreme Jr., he wrote that if they were hit by a bus, he wouldn't be bothered. Supreme Jr. is the son of Kenneth Supreme McGriff who is suspected to be involved in the attempted murder of 50 Cent in 2000. After receiving backlash, he took to X and said he holds no ill will toward his son, but that Marquise has negative energy because of the people he hangs out with. 50 Cent has had a rocky relationship with his son for some time, telling people, My relationship with my son is changing because he and his mom aren't friends anymore, so I have to talk to his lawyer to get things situated for me to actually get him.